Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here, for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Vowel 333 Tarot, and we're just gonna jump in and see what's going on here with who you're dealing with. All right, what are their uh, true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you? All right, keep in mind, of course, that this is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. This is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel. Or please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And uh, I do offer same-day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Okay, Virgo, so it looks like here that with whoever this is that you are dealing with, yeah, I mean, it's just very, you know, independent focused. Um, so, other than that, you know, they're willing to balance and juggle, you know, day to day life here with you, okay, and with themselves as well here. Get the heck away from here. Okay, is it gone? Weird. Anyway, I'll deal with it afterwards as best as I can, Virgo. Sorry. There's a damn gnat here. Hmm. Okay, um, but they, yeah, they're organized, they're balanced, you know, they're kind of focused with what they, who they are, what they do, right? Um, and it looks like here that they're seeking some guidance, wisdom, some counseling, you know, kind of keep it to themselves here, but also maybe, you know, resolving some things here with you and communicating this with you, um, you know, in some way, shape or form to where they want to become a lot more equal and giving here with you. And there's a lot going on where you guys are meant to be going through whatever you guys are meant to be going through. There's a lot of changes. You know, they're, they're trying to figure out their investments here with you and what to do, and they want to move forward. There's a lot of passion and excitement here that they feel towards you, okay? Motivation and action that they're taking. All right, in regards to something here with, with you or towards you. Okay, so it looks like here that, you know, right away, just having that moment of passion and excitement with you and something quick happening, that's where they, all of a sudden they kind of put their walls up and they feel extremely guarded, you know, towards and defensive. And then they, but at the same time, then they're willing to kind of still, you know, approach you, do something here with you, take action again. Um, maybe it makes them feel, excuse me, confident. I don't know, but either or they feel confident to basically kind of like a few things here. For some of you, this is something that you're in a marriage. There it is. Get it, babe. Get it. Get it, babe. It's a net. I know, right? It was flying around me and it fucking thing's trying to drink my energy drink. Mm -hmm. It's close by around here. <laughs> he has his headphones and that's why I'm like shouting at him. <laughs> right. It'll get dumb and go in front of us somewhere. Like it usually does and then we just clap it like we usually do. Damn that. Anyway, guys, uh, sorry, Virgo. <laughs> I'm ready. Just take me out. <laughs> it surrenders. It does every time. And then we, I feel bad and I start thinking about it. And then, you know, it's a whole thing. <laughs> uh, but anyway, Virgo, so with who you're dealing with, you know, so for a lot of you, this is someone that is, you know, strictly just business, friendship, partnership here with you, marriage or relationship, okay? Um, 
or someone that you just are aware and know of, you know, but the, they, they deal with you somehow. But either or here, like I said, they're willing to be committed, sign this contract with you, you know, be here with you. They know deep down what's going on. So intuitively, whatever's happening with them and you, they, they really, you know, understand that they trust their, their intuitive, you know, process with that. And um, for some of you, like I said, they may be very open to receiving guidance, you know, uh, spiritual or religious guidance about you in some way, shape or form to figure out what to do either or but you know there's still love and, and kindness and friendship that they feel here with you whatever it may be you know the dynamic that you guys have um i do see here that this is where they kind of feel a sense of confusion though but they have to make a decision it does make them feel pretty good though and confident emotionally here with you and that's when they feel burdened yet again there's a, a sense of burden some you know energy here of how they know they have to kind of drop something or let go of something in regards to you you know what i mean um and this is where once again they know deep down you know or they just you know they choose to just kind of stay committed in a sense here or once again seek some inner some some knowledge and guidance about you know what to do here about them and you i kind of just say a bit hidden and quiet you know remain you know a little hidden if that makes sense but okay so regardless of whatever this is here it looks like here that this is where they, you know, there's a lot of success and recognition that they have here with you, with themselves, with you, and also that they feel here with you and that they want. So that a lot, you know, it's good, but at the same time, that's where they're, they're having a lot of stress and anxiety and they're freaking out with you, okay? But they're willing to still kind of work on things here and do business and put in effort with you in some way, shape, or form, even if it's not work-related. At the same time, though, this is where they hit this moment of completely confused, not knowing what to do here in the situation, running out of their options. Mm -hmm. Okay. So unfortunately for some of you here, what's going on is they end up having to kind of research, study, figure out some things, you know, about, you know, about what to do here, get some information. And that's when they either get conflicted with themselves and fight themselves and they're mad at themselves for something going on or end up trying to maybe like start some shit with you on purpose or they just get mad at you and fight with you. But at the same time, it's for the sake of the connection, you know, of some sort here, they still choose to be connected to you in some way, shape or form. So... Yeah, and it looks like that's where the, that's what's causing them a lot of pain here. Like they know something's done with and over with, and that's what's causing them a lot of pain here. Okay, about them and you. Hmm, okay, so it looks like here that they're just going to continue to focus on some plans here individually with themselves, but also with you and towards you because of that. Okay, so you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Gemini. All right, thank you. Bye.